dear friends in Christ Mary is full of grace and the Lord is with her God has favored Mary as the archangel Gabriel told her In today's gospel we heard Saint Elizabeth say to Mary of all women you are the most blessed and blessed is the fruit of your womb If the ark of the covenant which carried the tablets of the law was so precious a treasure of the chosen people Israel how much more precious should Mary who carried not just the law but the law giver himself who became man be for the new people of God Mary is blessed because she heard the word of God trusted it and kept it she is blessed because she is the humble handmaid of the lord she submitted perfectly to god and said yes to him in all things that is the secret of her greatness and holiness she never did anything spectacular but gave herself to god in total self abandonment and lovingly carried out all her duties of wife and mother Therefore Mary is not only blessed but also glorified in her is perfectly fulfilled what St Paul says those whom he predestined he also called those whom he called he put right with himself and those whom he put right with himself he also glorified Mary's assumption is a perfect fulfillment the fruit of her humility obedience and love It is also God's acknowledgement of her perfect conformity with Jesus. Mary is the model of the church answering God's call to be with him in pain and glory. It is a constant invitation to every Christian to aim at the final fulfillment in heaven. As God preserved Mary from the corruption of sin, So he preserved her also from the corruption of the grave. He took her up into heaven. Waiting for the final resurrection of all on the last day is a punishment for original sin. God kept Mary untouched by original sin and the corruption that follows it. It is fitting that she who in giving birth to the savior preserved her virginity spotless should keep her body incorrupt even after death it is fitting that she who carried the son of god as a child in her bosom should have a dwelling place with god it is fitting that the bride of the holy spirit should dwell in the palace of heaven it is fitting that she who shared in the sacrifice of her son should also share in his glory it is fitting that the handmaid of god should be honored as the queen of heaven Mary stands as the model for all Christians in being partners with God in the work of salvation. In her song that we heard in today's gospel, she gives expression to the rising hopes of millions to be free from the exploiting, domineering and dehumanizing forces. She thanks God for the wonders he did for her. From now onwards All generations shall call me blessed for the almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name Let us join the millions of our brothers and sisters of India in thanking God for restoring to us the most basic elementary human freedom Today we celebrate a double feast that of Mary glorified in heaven and that of mother India still struggling to liberate herself from poverty hunger disease exploitation violence and injustice let us pray to our mother in heaven for our mother india a letter all of us learn to be humble thankful and helpful like mary so that we shall follow her into the glory of heaven and let us join rabindranath tagore in praying where the mind is led forward by thee into everlasting thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake thank you and god bless you
For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.